installing Curator CE731 is actually very easy, but our friend Josh Morin created a simple shell script that automates the process so you don't have to issue any Unix command. You just select a menu and uh, select multiple options. So I'm using here FileZilla and I'm going to uh, put into the TMP directory. Uh, I'm going to be putting the shell script that Josh wrote as well as the curator ISO image. All you need to do is move those things and launch the shell script. I'm going to pause until the file transfer finishes. Now that we have both files in there, all we have to do is actually launch the installer. And as you see, there is a menu. The first part, when you select optional one, is the system update. So in here, there are going to be some downloads for updating the CentOS system. Uh, several things while this takes place. Uh, one is in the video description, there is uh, there are actually several links. One is to the video that I did to download and install the CentOS uh, in case that you don't have a Red Hat system. Also, they are, there is a link to the IBM Security Learning Academy. I encourage you to, while this first part takes place, to visit that link and see the free options for curator training that the Academy has. Also in the video description, I put a link to a box folder where you can download the install uh, script that Josh Morin wrote and another one for a PDF that contains an index of all my videos nicely classified so it's easier for you to look for what additional material you want uh, to learn with Curator. So this is going to take uh, still quite a while and it will depend on how much bandwidth you have uh, and how fast the, the downloads uh, for this update takes place. So I'm going to post the video until this uh, section finishes. So that took around seven minutes. We are ready to for the second step, which is disabling the SE Linux. So we select option two and these things disable the SE Linux and does a reboot for us. So we log in after the reboot. Here. and we invoke the same we use use the upper arrow to do the history option and run the install so we did step number two we now need to do step number three and this process uh, before it begins you're going to do a few things and then it's going to ask us to accept the terms and here they are so I'm going to read this I'm going all the way to the bottom hitting the space bar and at the end I'm going to click here yes then it asks me do you want to continue I say yes and now this process is going to start so I'm going to pause the video again uh, until this uh, part finishes okay that part took an hour in my system. Now we need to set the password. So select option four and we simply put the password. Has to be a strong password. Has to have combination of uppercase, lowercase. Uh, and digits or special characters. That's in the in the documentation.
okay so we are ready to step number five which is restart the tomcat and we don't need to issue the command it, it's explained in the in the documentation but this installation process is just a menu boom 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 now you have to be a little patient in here uh, because as long as that cursor is blinking the process of bringing down Tomcat and bringing Tomcat up it's still taking place so I'm gonna pause the video until that finishes okay so that process finished now all we need to do is open a browser and make it point to the address that's a good sign that we it found the server I'm using a cell site certificate so that's what I get that message and we need to be patient here because still while Tomcap is up still curator is CE is coming up so we need to be patient if also if you see internal server error while you are clicking here again that's a indication that curator is not uh, not uh, fully up so I'm gonna pause the video until I get the console login well that was a lot quicker than I expected so I'm actually logging in with this strong password that I changed during this installation process I get another license I click accept and here you have it your curator system ready for you to learn to develop test do whatever you actually want to do with it thanks again to Josh Morin for creating this uh, shell script and again all the links are in the video description